You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Hey, everybody, I want to take a few minutes here and talk about our sponsor, Splunk. You know, you need to keep operations humming around the clock, but potential disruptions are everywhere. Splunk helps you predict problems and find and fix issues fast so you can reduce risk and ditch downtime. The world's largest enterprises rely on Splunk's unified security and observability platform to become more efficient, resilient, and innovative. With Splunk, you can react quickly, evolve faster, and be ready for anything. Stay ahead of disruptions. Learn more at splunk.com slash resilience. The word is cross-site scripting. Definition. From the intrusion kill chain model, a malicious code delivery technique that allows hackers to send code of their choosing to their victim's browser. Example sentence. Within 20 hours, the SAMI cross-site scripting attack of 2005 compromised over a million victims. Context. Cross-site scripting takes advantage of the fact that roughly 90% of web developers use the JavaScript scripting language to create dynamic content on their websites. Through various methods, hackers store their own malicious JavaScript code on unprotected websites. When the victim browses the site, the web server delivers that malicious code to the victim's computer and the victim's browser runs the code. Simple example. On a local neighborhood website, homeowners can store items they want to sell, like furniture, clothing, and toys. A hacker could add an item to the board, like an old desk, but also include malicious JavaScript in the details. When the legitimate neighbors click on the entry for the old desk, their web browser will show the desk entry, but will also run the JavaScript. The script could steal the victim's personal cookie and deliver it to another site on the internet. The hacker could then use that cookie to perform actions on the neighborhood website with the same permissions of the victim. Mm 